Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for November 7th. We're looking at the pound uh, U.S. dollar pair. This pair looking for a breakout below uh, this trend line here to the downside down to the 159.12 mark. Definitely get out of this one before the 159.00 mark. We do have a uh, an announcement as far as rate decision tomorrow, so uh, could have lighter than normal volume going into that. Uh, definitely keep an eye on it now. As far as what uh, what that looks like, sell around the 159.56 mark. Use a uh, put a stop loss at the high around 36 pips. Then look for it to drop down 44 pips uh, down to the 159.12 that we talked about. Of course, uh, it could bounce off the 159.00 mark as well. Definitely keep an eye on this. Uh, I, I am looking for this trade. If you look at the Euro USD. It, uh, it had a, a stronger day, closed lower uh, than the pound overall. I'm looking for the pound to catch up on this one and push lower. Now, as far as news and announcements tomorrow, we do have the Bank of England asset purchase targets for November at 7 a.m. Eastern. Consensus on that is that it has held at $375 billion. Then at uh, same time, 7 a.m. Eastern, we have the Bank of England releasing their rate decisions their rate decision, they're showing a hold at 0.50%. Then we have the European Central Bank re releasing their rate decision at 7.45 a.m. Eastern. Uh, consensus on that one is that they're going to hold rates at 0.75%. Of course, if they, don't, uh, if they do move rates, it will fundamentally affect the market, and we will see the market jump. Then a little bit later in the day at 8.30 uh, p.m. Eastern, we have the uh, Chinese releasing their consumer price index for October. They're showing a hold at 1.9% for that one. Let's go over and take a look at uh, ranges for tomorrow. Looking for the U.S. Japanese yen pair to move up to 80.64, possibly down to 79.47. Look for some resistance around uh, 80. There we go. Uh, 80.45 and look for some support around 79.61. Now the Euro USD pair closed lower. We are looking for it uh, to potentially go as low as 160, uh, 126.46, possibly as high on reversal up to 129.29. Look for some resistance around 128.75 and look for some support around 127.34. Now the pound US dollar pair, talked about it already. Look for it to potentially go as high as 0.60, uh, 160.90. Possibly down to 159.09. Look for some resistance to the upside around 160.40. And look for some support around 159.50. Now the U.S. Swiss pushed higher. Uh, had a very wide range but closed up. Uh, definitely moving in that direction. Look for it to potentially go as high as 0.9534. Possibly down to 0.9342. Look for some resistance around 0.9475 and look for some support around 0.9375. Well, that pretty much wraps us up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.